Now if you want to do the update, go ahead and hit the house button. You'll end up here, the, the one that looks like a house on your controller. Okay, then we're going to go down here, and we're going to select the house on fire. Yours might be a little bit different, but that's okay. It's the same thing. One's app starter, one's uh, TV launcher. Select that. Okay, uh, make sure that you're highlighted on Fire MC, which you see here, the yellow square is on Fire MC. Hit the menu button, which is the three lines on your controller. This comes up, then you're going to hit App Settings. You're going to go down here and hit Clear Cache. Select it, go up here to Force Stop, and then you're going to hit Launch Application. Go ahead and let it start up. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Okay, let it let it load, let it do its thing. I'll scroll over here to maintenance. Okay, now this is just announcing that there's a uh, an update and that also they moved from Facebook. If you want, you can go to that site. And get some help too. Um, just go ahead and hit dismiss on this. Then this pops up. This is telling you about the install. You're going to hit fresh install. Oh, it said Fire TV Wizard error. So if you didn't get that pop up, that's okay because all you have to do is scroll to maintenance like I'm at now. Come down here to Fire TV Wizard and select it. Go down here to builds. Okay, now it's very important that you look at the Kodi version here. If it says 16 point anything, you have to come down here. Past here, there will be Jarvis builds, and you're going to hit the Fire TV build Jarvis and download that. But if it says 17 point anything, then you're going to work on Krypton. So you're going to highlight the build that you want, which is this one. Hit the menu button, the three lines on your controller. Bring this up, and then you're going to hit fresh install. Then you're going to hit continue. Now if you got lucky and your fresh install worked at the first spot, you'll be at the same spot that we're at now, and everything's fine. Just make sure that you uh, don't let the screen fall asleep, which I'll explain in a little bit here it's about finished up cleaning here now you're going to hit server one okay it's under a minute and a half here it's going back up okay now um, if you see something crazy like 150 minutes or something like that on ETA right there where it says three minutes now for me um, you can hit cancel and then uh, do the same thing fresh install and do server one or server two see which one will get you faster if they're both still some crazy number then just wait a little bit because the servers are kind of busy right now um, a lot of Pulse users and the creators of Pulse came to the Fire TV Guru family and they're blocking the uh, servers because there are so many people that are downloading right now. So just be patient. You'll get your Cody back and you didn't ruin it completely. It's not your fault. So let's go ahead and let this go. Uh, usually this takes about a minute and a half. So we could tell that the servers are kind of busy right now. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and let this download go. Just make sure that you hit the up button or the down button on your controller. 
every minute and a half or so do not let the screen dim or fall asleep if you do you will have to start this whole process over it's very important